So the goal for today's lesson is to be able to decompose composite or compound shapes into rectangles in order to find the area. So a composite or compound shape is just a shape that can be broken down into smaller shapes. So our example problem here says Miguel drew this shape in his notebook. What is the area of Miguel's shape? So his shape is a composite figure. And so what we want to look at is how can we best uh, break apart his his figure into smaller rectangles so that we can find the area because we already know that area is going to equal length times width so we learned that in our previous lesson so when I think about this I think about what is the best way that I can break the shape apart what is the most efficient and when I think about the most efficient I think about what, how can I break it apart to where I don't have to do as many calculations so to find the area, I need length and width. So I'm going to think about where do I see a rectangle where I already have length and width given to me. Um, so I do see here that this top, I have a length of five meters. And then here I already have a width of 10 meters. So if I broke this apart and did a little... A little snippet right here I would have this shape here and then I can do the same thing over here so that I would have this um, length and then this width so this would be a 5 by 10 so that would be 50 meters squared and this one would also be a 5 by 10 which would be 50 meters squared so that just leaves me to find this smaller. Um, it looks like a square, so um, we can make we can assume that though, but because it could be a rectangle. But I do need to find this, and I do have one of the measurements right here. So I have this one right here. So this is a horizontal line. So I have that. So what I need to find are these dotted lines. So what I think about to find this is that if I need to find this here, this is vertical. So I'm going to look for another vertical line, all the vertical lines that can help me find this. So another way to think about that is if I'm looking for this, I need to find another line here. So this would be to find another parallel line. So any pair, any lines that run parallel to this that can help me find what the measurement of this would be. So I do have these here, these sides that are 10 meters. So that tells me, I'm going to do this in a different color, that this right here plus this, these two measurements here should be equal to 10 because this makes a rectangle, and so this side here that runs parallel needs to be equal. Well, this measurement here is already given, so I know that this is six. So six plus some number has to equal 10. So when I think about that, six plus what number would give me 10? Well, that has to be four. Four plus six is 10, so this measurement must be four. So that would be a five by four so that would be 20 meters squared so if i add so don't forget your last part is that you need to add these measurements up so i have 50 meters squared another 50 meters squared and 20 meters squared so that would be 120 meters squared would be the area of miguel's shape let's look at another example Okay, this says Liam is a construction builder. So he's a he's a builder for, you know, houses in a neighborhood. Um, he's working on two floor plans for some houses. Below are the two floor plans. What is the area of each house? Um, I don't know that we'll be able to find the area of each house, but let's just talk about, um, you know, for time's sake, but let's talk about how we can best break apart or decompose these composite figures um, so that we can find the area because these are um, these are definitely some harder shapes to find the area. Now just remember for area I'm going to find length and width and I want to find 
um, the most efficient way to do this where I don't have to do as many calculations. So I want to find as many lengths and widths of rectangles that I can. So when I look at house A here, I already have 12. I know this and then I do have this 10, but I'm missing this section here. So I could just break this apart since this does give me this six. So I would just have to find this. So I have a 12 by four. And then if this is 12, so once again, I'm going to find that um, parallel line that runs parallel to this 12 meters right here. So this one's horizontal, so I need to find another horizontal line. So here, this one, sorry, I've got to find this one. This one is 12. So this line runs parallel to this. So this also, in order for this to be a true rectangle, this also must be 12 meters. So um, that's how you can find those missing measurements. It's just going back and thinking about, okay, what runs parallel to this line. So if this is a tw uh, 12 meters long and here I have my width, which is three meters, that is a 12 by three. So I've got to find this little, small little rectangle right here. I already know this is six, but I don't know what the width is. So I had to find a line that runs parallel. So that would be this 10, but I also, I'm going to need these measurements here. So this three meters plus something, which would be this plus four here, this has to equal 10. So three plus something plus four must equal 10. Three plus something plus four must equal 10. So three and four are seven. And I know that, you know, seven plus three is going to give me 10. So this measurement here, it's, it has to be a three. So this is a six by three. So that is one way that you can break this apart. We could have went down and broken this apart, but I chose to do it this way. You can do it multiple ways, though. Let's look at this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to break it apart like this because I, I already know this big measurement right here, a 12 by, this would be 12 by 4. I already have my length, my width. Um, I already have the length and width of this one. This is a three by three. So I just need to find, here's the problem. I got to find two measurements. I need to find this and this. So this one, this is 12. This is the line that runs parallel to it. And I have three. So three plus some measurement would be 12. So if this is three and then this, so three plus some number will give me 12. So three plus nine would give me 12. So this measurement must be nine. So now to find this, I also, once again, I, I know that this whole thing is 10 meters. So I have three, some number. So three plus something plus four equals 10. So this one also must be three. So this is a nine by three. So just remember that once you multiply these, you will need to add them up in order to in order to find the total area. Also, I could have broken this apart. Can also think about it this way. So I do have a three by four here a three by four. Um, this would be a three by 10, three by 10. So I would just need to find this. So it would be, um, let's see, if this were, this is three, some number, and then three. So three plus some number plus three would give me 12 is what runs parallel to it. So this would have to be six. This is a six. This is six meters right here. So now I also need to find this. So four plus some number plus three gives me 10. So that would mean this would be three 
but I can't just find this. I have to find this whole thing. So this would be three and four. So three plus four. So this actually would be seven, a six by seven. So that would be 42 and then 30, 12. And then I would just add those together to find the area of this figure. So that is all for today. That is the end of this strategy video.